This is the ultimate survival base that I just built inside of Minecraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build it. Okay, no, but seriously, this base is pretty huge, and uh, you know, it, it is a pretty cool base. It will serve every purpose that you could possibly ask for, and it's also extremely versatile if you want to change anything with it. Just like all of my builds are. All extremely versatile. That's just how we move. It features a huge crop farm, both indoor and outdoor, a large deck area, and three stories to do whatever you want with. This is definitely a larger sized build, so hopefully you've come prepared for that, because here we have the material list, and I would gather as much of these items as possible for this build. And next up, we have the first set of dimensions. Feel free to pause the video and copy this circle down from the screen. If you do pause and copy from here, then skip ahead to the timestamp I put on video, or you can continue watching to see the circle actually being built.
So now up next, what we are going to do is just kind of go around and start applying some smaller details here to the wooden circle that kind of, uh, you know, encapsulates this entire thing. I don't even know if I used that word correctly. Did I? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments. So now what you're going to need to get out is a water bucket because we are going to be actually planting these crops down now. So the water is a little bit strange with how you have to work this in. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is go up to each corner like this, what I'm doing right here, and then just break a block and place a water bucket right below one of these logs. And I would do this. I mean, it really wouldn't hurt to do this on like you know, maybe like every other corner, like every other four blocks or so, but I tend to do this. I just skip probably like a few blocks, do another one, skip a few blocks, do another one. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side with the stone wall as well.
Now at the start of the video, I don't know if you guys recall or not, I said this was the first set of dimensions and um, yeah, this one is the second set of dimensions. So this is the dimensions for the actual house on top of the platform.
Under the stairs, I went ahead and added uh, two sections for barrels. You guys can do whatever you want here, but this is just basic storage, uh, you know, for the farm inside of here. I also added a farm door here on one of the sides. Uh, I think I did on the right side, but just for some extra detailing, I thought this looked pretty cool. Now this pretty much concludes the entire exterior of the house. If you guys want to do the interior yourself, feel free. If not, that's what we will be doing next.
So right here in the storage room, I added a trap door and a ladder. So basically where this goes is directly to the farm below. Um, the only reason why I added this in is because doing a full blown sprint from the outside or I guess the bottom farm all the way up, like literally to the inside of your home is impractical as hell.
And just like that, this house is finally finished, lads. The interior, the exterior, the farm, the storage, the place to sleep, the place to use the bathroom. Uh, okay, well, we didn't actually add a bathroom, but the entire house is finally done. And guys, I did tell you that the builds would be getting a lot larger and a lot more ridiculous. And as you can see, I was not lying. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification if you do want to see more builds from me because guys, like I said before, and like I said just now, you will be seeing a lot more.